60 Minutes identifying what they think is the next big hit for housing. Folks facing foreclosure are lawyering up and finding all kinds of problems with the eviction paperwork. When I looked at the assignment of mortgage, and this is the assignment, a copy from my case, I looked at even the date they put in, which was 10-17-2008, was several months after they sued me for foreclosure. But who really is to blame here for this new shock to the housing market? The banks, the homeowners who can't pay their bills? Let's stay ahead of the curve with Prudential Douglas Elliman Vice Chairwoman Dolly Lenz, New York's top real estate agent, Democratic strategist and lawyer Chris Hahn, and conservative columnist Jedediah Biela. Good to see all of you. Dolly, let's begin with you. What do you think? You know, everybody's a little bit to blame. I would say the banks in their rush to get all the money uh, are probably the most to blame, although mm -hmm. certainly homeowners who aren't paying their bills aren't helping anybody out. Yeah. You know? Now, these were, of course, in the days before uh, we had these consumer protection laws that we've seen uh, over the past couple of years churned out. Uh, but nevertheless, you are supposed to be aware of what you're signing. And if there's a mistake in what you're signing, you're supposed to point it out to the person who's put the mistake in. I'm all... not excusing the banks because a lot of banks do tricky stuff. But aren't you, don't you yes. have some responsibility? Yes, you do. And you pretty much know in gross what you did. I'd say yeah. most people know. The question is, the bank securitized everything, so you don't right. know who owns what. So it's well, bank number one, bank number two, loan officer number five. It's, it's so many. The, the point of the clip you just played was that the banks are so far behind on their paperwork and so out of whack with their paperwork is that they're willing to fraudulently produce new sets of paperwork. That's what this woman was fighting against yes. here. Now, I will tell you this. The banks are ultimately to blame for a couple of reasons. One, in their rush to make profits, they gave mortgages to people who they shouldn't have given mortgages to to begin with. Now, if these people can then use the legal system to say they fraudulently produced documents, God bless them. Let them do it. The right. banks have to be better than that. And they're by the way, it was more than just that. Not only did the banks give loans to the wrong people, but then the financial banks went along and securitized yeah. those the, loans, the whole, knowing, by the way, way it was, it, knowing very well that a number of these it, loans were bad loans and they sold them as good loans. It was pigs at the trough, David. Yeah. They wanted to make as much money as they can, as quickly right. as they can, and they didn't care about the consequences. But Jedediah, on the other hand, now. way back when Scoreboard first began, about three and a half years ago, I had on this woman, lovely woman, uh, who had a house that cost her $750,000. Now, that's about twice what I have ever paid for a dwelling. I've, I've bought three dwellings in my life. That's twice of what I paid. Right. What her business was, she was a daycare worker. She had five or six kids come over. She made about $300, $400 a week. And with a $400 a week salary, and she was a single mom, she bought a house for $700,000. Now, I asked her, I said, did you ever think that beyond those two years where you essentially got the house for free because you didn't have to worry about paying back your mortgage, that your, your income was nowhere near able to afford a house like that. And she said no. Well, that's a big problem. And I think we need to speak to personal responsibility because ultimately we make our own decisions and we determine our fate. And if we can't afford something at the end of the line, we need to practically be able to sit down and map that out. You know, we're seeing right now with respect to government and with respect to budgets mm -hmm. that the federal government hasn't, hasn't done its job. Haven't, they haven't been good about producing a budget. They haven't been following those rules. We need households and we need average people to sit down and say, listen, if this isn't practical, we can't do right. it. And Chris, as bad as the banks were, and I'm willing to give you all the leeway you want here. I agree that the banks were bad, not only in terms of the, the loaning banks, but the securitizing banks. Both of them were guilty right, of right. sin in many cases. There is contracts are important. Absolutely. And there are two sides to a contract. There's a person who's buying and there's a person who's selling. And both of those parties have to act responsibly. I don't see anything in all this we'll new see. legislation, some of which is written by your old boss Chuck Schumer, that really <laughs> puts the onus on the person signing you know that what? contract. The person who's signing the contract is always at a disadvantage from the banks who produce the contract, okay? They, they, they want to get into this house. The banks hold all the cards in this market now and in the market before. And people were buying homes because they were seduced by low interest rates and saying, hey, why rent when you can own? We remember the commercials. But hold on a second. Yeah, so there's yeah. a seducer and there's a seducee. Yes, and both yeah. sides play in that, don't they, Dolly? Yeah, there's well, no question. Look, the people were fooled because they wanted to be fooled. Okay, I, I know stories exactly like yours with the daycare worker. Many of those stories, foreigners coming here to find a better life you know, less than 1% teaser rates for a year. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. what? Well, then I'm going to get a big bonus. I don't know. You know, what the 
fiducies yeah. in this case, the people who bought these homes with these low interest mortgage pro products with, with adjustable rates, did not spend millions of dollars on advertising. They did not have agents come to them and say, hey, get out of no, your apartment, nobody, go yeah. buy this $750,000. Nobody, nobody, nobody handcuffed them. Nobody handcuffed yeah. them. Nobody handcuffed That's them. That's right. And, said, come, and they knew better. You know what? Nobody the forces people to eat better. fatty food in this no, country, no, no. too, but this country is getting no. really fat no, on the Yeah, so we need a lot of nanny state rules to prevent us from getting Exactly. I don't think we can do that. We've got to leave it at that. Coming up on deck, scoreboard.